Hi there everyone, today I am going to be sharing with you a new card I made using the new release from Hello Bluebird. This stamp set that I'm using is right here with these cute little mice called Field Mice. And I've also used this new die. So it has this window piece and then it comes with a couple of different tags. So I cut out the window piece. So it's actually two separate pieces. So you get this, just this window, and then you have this outline border, this little scalloped edge. And then inside of the squares, there's little windows. So it, all of those pieces come out. So today I'm going to be sharing with you how to color this little mouse with the strawberry using my Copic markers. And I'm going to be using the C's so I can have a cool, tone to the, the mouse itself. So I'm going to be using C2, C0, C6, and C4. And then for the strawberry, I'm going to be using YG13, YG17, and R32, R35, and R37. So let's get started. So the first part we're going to color is the mouse. I like to color, I don't like starting off with the really bold colors like red for the strawberry because then I'm, I'm taking the chance of pulling some of that red into the gray and I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna start with my C4 and I'm just gonna add a little bit of color to where the shadowed areas are. So underneath the ear and coming down a little bit, a little bit underneath the chin underneath the strawberry because the strawberry would be casting a shadow onto the lower body of the mouse and again under his arm on the inside part of his leg same thing over here and kind of going up the his backside and then also we I'm going to add a little bit of a shadow going on the bottom part of the mouse's tail so now I'm going to take my C2 and I'm just gonna come out a little bit farther. So I'm just pulling out some of that C4. And then a little bit on his tail. And I'm actually going to add a little bit of pink into his ears. So for that, I'm gonna be using R32 and R30. I'm gonna start with my R32. And right, right at the top where this line is, I'm gonna make a little bit of a line. So this is gonna be like the deepest part of his ear. And then we're gonna get lighter as we come out. So I'm gonna take my R30 and just pull out that color a little bit. Now the line that's right here, that's the edge of of his ear so we want this part to to be gray so we don't want to come out so we kind of just want to follow this line around so it's just the inside part of his ear so now I'm going to take my C0 and I'm going to go ahead and get a good blend on the edge of that C2 and once it's nice and blended out all the way around so we wanna make sure we have a good blend on that. You just don't wanna go ahead and finish filling in the entire mouse without getting that nice blend because then you're gonna have a, like a harsh perimeter and it's gonna be harder to blend. So now that all of those little areas where we have the C2 down, now we can go ahead and take our C0 and just go one stroke over to fill in the entire mouse. Now we're gonna go ahead and, and really define those, sh those shadows a little bit more. So I'm gonna go back, this time using my C6. So I'm gonna take my C6 and go just in those areas where we first added the C4 and just touch up defining those shadows a little bit more. So this time I'm actually gonna go up here along the top of the ear and then along the bottom underneath the strawberry and underneath his little chin and all of the areas where we first added that C4. 
So now we're going to repeat going back down from C4 to C2 to C0. So first it's going to be the C4 and you're going to, we're going to pull this color out a little bit more, getting a nice blend. And since the tail is so thin I'm, and I want there to be a contrast, I'm going to skip my C4 in that area. So now I'm going to take my C2, get a nice blend on the C4 that we have. And this time I'm actually going to take and fill in the rest of the tail. Since there's a big difference between C6 and C2, I'll still be able to get that dark to light contrast. So now I'm going to take my C0 again and get a nice blend right along the edge of that C2. And again, once I do, I'll go ahead and finish blending out and filling in the rest of the mouse. So now we have some nice shadows. Let me just fix this here. So we have our shadows and now we can go ahead and start the strawberry. So I'm going to start with, with, the, with the greens, with the YG17 and YG13. I'm going to start with the YG17 and just go along the bottom of the little leaves and on one side of the, the stem. And then I'm going to take my YG13 and just fill it in. Now it's such a small space, but if you feel like you need a little bit more of a shadow, you can always go back and repeat. So let's go ahead and take our YG13 and go back over the areas where we first added the YG17. And then take the YG13 and just give it a little touch here and there just so it softens it up so you, it kind of blends it out. So now for the strawberry, we're going to be using R37, R35, and R32. I'm going to start with my R37, and I'm going to add a little bit of a shadow underneath the leaves and the stem, and then I'm going to come through and just add a couple little scribbles. And then I'm going to take my R35, and I'm going to come out a little bit more from the R37, still leaving all those little white spaces, so that way my, I, I'll have a nice highlight in a few areas using the R32. So now with the R32, I'm just going to go one stroke over, just kind of blending it all through, so that way those highlights still stay lighter. And then we're going to go ahead and just touch it up a little bit with the R37 because when we lay the R32 over everything, it has a tendency to kind of dull it out. So we're just gonna go ahead and just add a few little dots here and there to really bring out the red in the strawberry. And that is it. Oh, we gotta fill in his little nose. I'm gonna go ahead and use my R32. It's a little pink nose there. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'm going to be linking below to all of the new stamps that I'm using on this card to the Hello Bluebird uh, website. So thank you again for watching and have a great day.